Out of the box, Godot gives you all sorts of ways to monitor your game's performance and behavior. You can monitor the FPS, draw calls, memory usage, number of objects, and much more. But you can also define your own custom monitors to track whatever's of interest to you. Something I've done on Unto the Deepest Depths to help me track areas of interest for both performance and balance. To monitor custom metrics, you can simply call performance.addCustomMonitor and provide an ID for your metric and a function that can be called to provide the current metric value. This function will automatically be called periodically at runtime, so while you do need to store the value you'll want to return somewhere in your code, you only need to store and therefore your function only needs to return the current value. Godot will take care of showing you the historical values in the chart. And it's worth noting that while both floats and integers are supported, these values cannot be negative and will be clamped to zero if provided. As an example of using custom monitors, in Unto Deepest Depths for instance, I cache basic navigation data during battles to speed up AI decision making. When adding this feature, I decided to monitor it so that in the short term I could easily verify the cache was working correctly, and in the long term to have an idea of how large that cache typically gets. So in my navigation service, I call performance.addCustomMonitor to register the monitor and then define a getMovementCacheSize function to return an integer of how many cache entries there are. With this setup, I can now monitor how large my navigation cache is by simply opening up the debugger tools, going to the monitors tab, and checking my custom monitor. I also use custom monitors for monitoring how long a level takes to generate, how long the AI takes to process certain information, and even to track game balance, which might seem a bit odd at first, but is actually pretty straightforward. I use a point by system in Unto Deepest Depths to generate levels, meaning I convert the player's progress into a numerical value, assign point cost to each enemy type, and then purchase enemies with the points available based on the player's progress. This means that as I've been testing and balancing the game, I can, at any time, open my custom monitor and see the exact budget that was used to generate a level, making it easy to understand why a level was generated as it was and intuit what balance changes may be needed to make things fairer. For a few additional usage notes, you may have noticed that in demoing my monitors, they each fall under a specific category, such as navigation, AI, and level. That's because I'm using a built-in feature of custom monitors where if a slash delimiter is present in a monitor ID, the text before the slash will be considered a category name, the text after will be considered the monitor name, and at runtime all of the performance monitors will be grouped into their relevant categories, making it easy to find what I'm looking for. If you choose to exclude a slash or include several slashes in your monitor ID, your monitor will end up in the default custom category. Another thing worth noting is that you can only add a monitor once, with subsequent attempts to create the same monitor resulting in an error. If you are unsure if a monitor has been created, you can call performance.hasCustomMonitor with the name of the monitor to check. Similarly, you can call performance.getCustomMonitor to programmatically access the current value of a given monitor, but that's left as an exercise for the viewer.